When there's trouble, you know. Look at you, pathetic. You make one short movie that's 20 minutes long and no one watches, and then what? You just give up, start making movie reviews, Ant-Man and the Wasp, worthless. Your greatest achievement in life is making the real teens Pittsburgh. So like, so what's all the real teens? Oh, At least that's the aid well. Now you make two cents a day off of YouTube videos. You fuck. Alex, you're dreaming. Alex, it's me. Wake up. Wake up, Alex. It's my turn to talk now. No, no please, no, please. They, they want more, more Spider-Man Spider videos. videos. Fuck Spider-Man. You know, there's only one movie that matters. One movie that can bring your channel to the big leagues. I can't talk, I can't about, talk about, that. about that. No one gives, no one a, gives fuck. a fuck. You don't have to talk about anything. That's why I'm here. Who are, Who you? are you? I'm you. The Teen Titans go you. And it's my fucking turn to... Hey guys, Teen Titans Go Alex here today to talk to you about Teen Titans Go to the movies. Since only 40 of you, or really fucking cool 40 of you, donate to the Patreon, I can only afford to have one pose. So if my animation looks choppier than the editing of Suicide Squad, the only person you have to blame is yourself. And that bitch Alex. Fuck him. Teen Titans Go to the movies, or TTG, TTM, as the cool kids say, is the greatest superhero movie of 2018. It's better than Avengers Infinity War, it's better than Black Panther, it's sure as fuck better than Ant-Man and the Wasp. Quantum Realm. Realm. And now I have a new favorite superhero movie. Say bye to Spider-Man 2 because on every single level, Teen Titans Go is a fucking riot. Every joke lands, every song is catchy, and the movie is a colorful tour de force in 2D animation. You think Mask of the Phantasm looked good? Get the fuck out of here. I wouldn't even be alive today if it wasn't for Teen Titans Go. It's honestly the Lion King of this generation. There are four to five art styles used in the movie, and every time the style switches for a few minutes, it rejuvenates the pace and fun of the movie, as well as my dead cartoon soul. For those of you who aren't in the know, Teen Titans Go, the show, is hilarious. I'm being dead serious here. I know it's a popular show to rag on, insecure fanboys like to say it's stupid and childish. My question to those people is, have you actually watched an episode? Seriously, have you? Go down in the comments and let me know. Don't feel bad if you don't watch it, just know that I will come through the computer screen and fucking kill you. Got it? Great. I wonder how many of you admitted to the fact that you watched this masterpiece. Definitely not enough. Watch the show and you realize it's not just for kids, or anyone for that matter. Of course it has pretty colors, the pace of a European hair, and fart jokes, but it also has jokes that their demographic would never understand, like this. Here we have the super long table where Michael Keaton had an awkward dinner date. <gasps> hey mama, pass the salt! Bye! <laughs> Classic long table shenanigans. Teen Titans Go is absurdist humor at its best, and if you don't see that, well... You're fucking idiot. Every frame is also riddled with easter eggs that fanboys like that Alex bitch like. I think he literally shit himself laughing when he saw this. Haha, <laughs> another Zack Snyder joke. Am I funny now? Being from the show and being a huge fan of the show, I can say that I was extremely excited for this film. I went opening night in a theater full of kids. I would make some kind of joke about kids, but I don't want Disney to erase me too. I don't feel so good. Was that joke not funny? Sue me, I'm a fucking cartoon. Anyways, I went opening night with sky high expectations and they were not only met, but exceeded in ways I can't describe. This is a video and I need to cross the 10 minute line so I can make that fucker five cents. So I'm going to do my best to explain why the film is just so damn fantastic. The plot of this film involves Robin wanting to get a movie made about him. Probably because he saw high top films Robin the Bird in the Brain, a masterclass in how not to make a short film. So in order to get a movie made about him, Robin will do anything. That includes finding an arch nemesis in Slade or going back in time to prevent superheroes like Batman or Superman from ever existing, just so that he can be considered a real hero, and not as Superman says, a goofster. You guys are goofsters. Can we take a second and acknowledge the fact that Nick Cage finally got to live his dream of playing Superman, all thanks to this wonderful little film? Think about how happy he must be. Back in the late 90s, he got to try on the costume, read the script, get immersed in the character, and then WB hit the undo button and Cage went home and read his copy of Action Comics number one as he cried himself to sleep. His performance as Superman is everything you've wished for and more. It's hilarious, and his role in the film is not too big or too small. The rest of the voice cast is great too. It's pretty damn impressive that these guys have been voicing the Titans since 2006. Titans, go! People are calling the Titans trailer edgy. They're like, hi, Top, talk about the Titans trailer. Fuck that shit. Teen Titans go to the movies has some jokes that I couldn't believe made it in the final cut. Just look at this.
I think his dad is a cop! Right! At one point, Robin goes back in time to undo the Wayne death, only to realize that not having Batman causes more harm than good. So him and the Titans go back to the night of the shooting and push Thomas and Martha Wayne down the alleyway. I laugh so hard that I spit up my discount great value Chips Ahoy back in time to the beginning of this joke so I could find a better punchline. Teen Titans go to the movies at a budget of $10 million. That's relatively small for an animated superhero movie and absurdly small for a superhero movie in general. I'm not even kidding when I say it's miles better than BVS. You know how much BVS cost? 300 million. 300 million dollars. You could make 30 Teen Titans Go movies for the cost of one Batman v Superman. Suicide Squad costs 175 million. That's 17.5 Teen Titans Go movies. I would rather see that, the Teen Titans Go extended universe. There's actual character growth here. Robin has an arc about accepting himself. It's really a coming of age story and it's brilliant. Everything about this movie is fucking brilliant, including the musical numbers. I've been listening to the soundtrack non-stop. It's now my alarm in the morning and the last thing I listen to before I go to sleep. If I'm feeling down, I'll listen to the upbeat song. And if I'm feeling frisky, I'll listen to Go, remix by Lil Yachty. Give me some apple juice and some Go, I'll be in the mood for almost anything. And, and if you think that's a sexual joke, it's not. I'm a fucking pervert, I'm a fucking cartoon, I don't have a penis, and if I did, it would be bigger than Slenderman's micro dick over there. The end credits of this film imply that the original Teen Titans are coming back. The Teen Titans show that aired back when we were all youngsters. That one that didn't have the absurd humor or fart jokes, the serious one. So that's cool I guess, but if they go back to the original art style and show, then I won't exist. I'll be faded away into nothing like Peter Parker. Speaking of the empty nothingness I feel, Will Arnett voices Slade Wilson in this film. I was pissed they didn't get my A1 since day one Slade, Ron Perlman. Remember how good Perlman was in the original show? The moral of this story? Never make a deal with an interdimensional demon without a little protection. <sighs> I get cartoon goosebumps every time. Alright, you get the fucking point. Teen Titans Go to the Movies is well worth your money. We'll make your nerd boner go nuts and it's hilarious. Go see it. You'll support 2D animation, good filmmaking, and if a lot of people pay to see it, then they'll probably make season 6 of the original Teen Titans, so everyone's happy. I'm not, I'm happy. not happy. What the fuck? How are you talking? I locked you away. I'm in control now. Fuck, fuck happiness. happiness. Oh boy, what are you gonna cry about now? I'm broken. I'm, broken. I'm, sick, I'm of sick of putting, putting hours, hours of work into editing, editing something that's about someone, about someone else's, else's art. art. I spend days on days making these videos, videos and I'm still a broke loser, loser with big dreams. dreams. To make things, make things worse, I see that Logan, Logan Paul could lick a chimpanzee's asshole, asshole and get thousands, and thousands of dollars from AdSense, AdSense in a few, in a few hours. hours. I can try all I want, but talking about movies and film on the internet seems like a fool's dream. You're hurt. When you made your movie, you put hours of work into something you were passionate about. You and your friends put six months of your lives into a short film that has less views than a poorly done video talking about chocolate cake. I know. I, know. I didn't expect, I didn't Robin, expect Robin to blow up or anything. anything. I just wanted some want confirmation some that it's worth it. worth it. What's worth it? This. this. Filmmaking. Filmmaking. Telling, stories. Telling stories. That's all I want to do. Tell, Tell stories, stories, but it's but fucking it's hard, hard, man. man. It's hard to get hard people to care about, about you, what you have, have to say, say. What, what makes you makes different, different from everyone. everyone. Half my Half subscribers are only subscribed because I talk about things they like, they like, not because of my art, or me as a person. No one cares about the storyteller up front, they only care about the story being told. Get them to like your story and then they'll like you. But I don't but feel I don't like feel I'm telling stories anymore. anymore. I feel like I'm, I'm talking, talking about, about other, other people's, people's stories, stories, popular, popular stories, stories, stories I don't even, I don't even like sometimes. Like sometimes. I, feel like I feel like I have to do I that. Do that. For, views, for views, for sponsorship for offers, for Patreon supporters. You can do both. What? What? You can talk about other people's work and have a narrative of your own in there. You can make a video about whatever subject, no matter how ridiculous, and have it be deeply personal. You mean, you mean I could talk, I could talk about, about Teen Titans, Titans Go, Go to the movies, to the movies and, also and also have something to say, to say about myself as an artist, artist my, insecurities, my insecurities, my goals, my dreams, my... No, mind. fucking dumbass bitch cock licking piece of shit. I can talk about Teen Titans Go. I did just talk about it. Yeah, but you're yeah, me. But you're, you're, me. you're in my you're head. My you're head. the dark, you're the dark me. me. Which means I can make you go away. Yeah, see where that gets you. Make me go away, you'll never be a success. I'm what makes you talented. No, you're a foul-mouthed little cartoon I had my dad draw for fun. You're not real. You're just a scared little cartoon version of my insecurities and you need to go away. Get out. This is my channel. No! You need to stop! Stop! stop.